Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app and you can read the text version of this quiz. Now for regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. We have started a new channel, Civils Academy. You can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Now let's start. What is Ganga Avlokan, which was in news recently? So it is a museum and it is a first of its kind museum and it is a museum on river Ganga and it is in Haridwar and Haridwar is in Uttarakhand. Recently Uttarakhand was in news as it partnered with ITBP for the promotion of tourism in the state. India announced establishment of a green strategic partnership with which country? So this country is Denmark and under this partnership India and Denmark are going to cooperate in the fields of energy, environment and various other sectors. The capital of Denmark is Copenhagen and the currency of Denmark is Danish Krone. BSC partnered with which bank to empower small and medium enterprises that is SME. So for this purpose BSC partnered with Yes Bank. Recently Yes Bank was also in news as former MD and CEO of Yes Bank Rana Kapoor was fined by SEBI and he was fined by SEBI and the fine was 1 crore rupees. Cat Q that was in news recently is a virus said to have emerged in which country? So this country is China and recently ICMR that is Indian Council of Medical Research issued guidelines in this context. This virus comes from Culex mosquitoes and pigs. Amnesty International has announced to quit from which country? So it is India. Now this Amnesty International works in the field of human rights. It is a non-governmental organization that is NGO. Recently NGO said that the government of India has frozen its bank account. Which automobile company has shortlisted five startups to promote innovation in automobile sector? So this was done by Maruti Suzuki and this was done under mail program. What is this mail program? It stands for mobility and automobile innovation lab program. So this is an initiative associated to Maruti Suzuki. Until which month RBI has extended the enhanced borrowing facility for banks under MSF. So it is March 2021. So under MSF RBI has extended this timeline by six more months. It is important to note that recently RBI had increased the limit of borrowing under MSF from existing 2% of NDTL to now 3%. Which astronomical observatory of India has completed five years of mapping stars? So AstroSat has completed five years of mapping stars. AstroSat was launched by ISRO. ISRO is Indian Space Research Organization. Now this AstroSat is India's first multi-wavelength observatory. Which Indian actor has been conferred with United Nations Development Programs SDG Special Humanitarian Action Award? So Sonu Sood has been conferred with this Special Humanitarian Action Award of UNDP that is United Nations Development Program. Flipkart and which general insurance company has launched insurance cover for online financial frauds? So for this purpose Flipkart has collaborated with Bazaar's Allianz. So this is to provide insurance cover for online financial frauds. Which banking entity has partnered with American Express to offer its premium products on American Express Network. So for this purpose SBI Cards has partnered with American Express. Now because of this partnership the premium products of SBI Cards will now be available on American Express Network. India is set to acquire 72,000 assault rifle from which country? So this country is USA and recently DAC that is Defense Acquisition Council headed by our Defense Minister approved this proposal of acquisition of 72,000 assault rifles from USA. Which e-commerce giant has launched a new fulfillment center in Tamil Nadu? So it has been launched by Amazon. So with this new center more and more products, applications and furniture can be stored in this storage and fulfillment center in Tamil Nadu. Next question is which public sector organization has signed with Ministry of Power and set its target for year 
2022-2021. So NTPC has signed with Power Ministry. So the new targets were fixed for next year, and these are 340 BU of electricity generation and 15 MMT of coal production. Next question is, which technology company has launched a campaign named Make Small Strong? So this has been launched by Google. Name of the campaign is Make Small Strong. The idea is to support small business. So this campaign intends to encourage the people to buy local products and to promote their favorite retailers by posting reviews. So based on those reviews, more and more people will get to know about these local retailers, and that is how the local products will be promoted. Next question is: Niti Aayog signed statement of intent with embassy of which country on decarbonization and energy transition agenda. So, what is the meaning of this term, decarbonization? That means less carbon emission. So, for this purpose, India has signed agreement with Netherlands to create new technological solutions for cleaner energy, so that we can reduce the carbon emission. Next question is: Which supersonic cruise missile with indigenous boosters has been successfully tested? So, this is BrahMos missile. This has been successfully tested. Actually, a new Version of surface-to-surface -surface supersonic cruise missile of BrahMos has been tested. Next question is: Which country announced to impose a gradual ban on using wild animals in circuses? So this was announced by France. Now please note that this ban does not apply to the wild animals in other permanent shows and in zoo. That means in zoo they can keep these wild animals, but the ban will be gradually applied on the circus. that means in circus you will not be able to use wild animals so this is related to france next question is sheikh nawaf has been sworn in as the amir of which gulf country right answer is kuwait so recently the previous ruler of kuwait passed away he was sheikh sabah al ahmad al jabbar al sabah so now sheikh nawaf has been sworn in as the new ruler of kuwait Which organization has been selected as the co-runner up of United States Citizen Diplomacy Award? So this is a non-governmental organization, and the name of this organization is Segal Foundation. It has been selected as the co-runner up of Citizen Diplomacy Award. Now this award is given to recognize the efforts by the citizens and organizations to strengthen the foreign policy of USA around the world. Next question is which company has started exploration of Kolar gold fields after 16 years so MACL that is Mineral Exploration Corporation Limited has started the exploration of Kolar gold fields in Karnataka this MACL is a PSU under Ministry of Mines actually there was a dispute related to Bharat Gold Mines Limited and that is why the exploration was stopped now the exploration has started after 16 years and it has been started by mineral exploration corporation of india next question is aspirational district program is an initiative of which organization so it is an initiative of niti aayog the objective is to ensure the development of most backward districts of our country and for that purpose this program has been started by niti aayog now what is niti aayog Niti Aayog is an executive body that means neither it is mentioned in the constitution of India nor it is constituted by any law so it has been constituted by an executive action that's why it is an executive authority and it is the successor of planning commission next question is what is the new ideal weight for adult indian man as per the national institute of nutrition so now the new ideal weight for adult has been changed from 60 kg to 65 kg for women it has been changed from 50 kg to 55 kg so recently the national institute of nutrition has revised these key indicators now this national institute of nutrition is under icmr that is indian council of medical research next question is which company has proposed to invest in the retail arm of reliance So this company is General Atlantic. This is going to invest in the retail arm of Reliance. Previously, it invested in Jio. Next question is: What is the name of initiative by Defence Ministry to identify innovations created by the Indian Armed Forces personnel? So the name of this initiative is 
IDX 4 4G. So this initiative was recently launched by Defence Minister. Next question is: India is is to set up a high-level monitoring committee with which country to review the projects implemented with LOC provided by India. Here, LOC means line of credit. So this country is Bangladesh, and for that purpose, a high-level monitoring committee will be set up. Which union ministry launched the CSIR technologies for rural development? So this ministry is Ministry of Science and Technology. Recently, Dr. Harshvardhan, who is our present Minister of Science and Technology, launched this CSIR technologies for rural development. Now, what is CSIR? It is Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, and this CSIR technologies for rural development is a joint initiative of CSIR. UBA that is Unnat Bharat Abhiyan IIT Delhi and Vibha that is Vijna Bharati which decade is named as the decade of healthy aging as per the WHO so it is 2020 to 2030 recently this was designated by WHO that is World Health Organization now every year on 1st of October the International Day of Older Persons is celebrated and the theme of this year was pandemics do they change how we address age and aging what is the largest handicraft and organic products marketplace of india which is to be launched so the name of this marketplace is tribes india and this was launched on the occasion of gandhi jayanti this was launched by minister of tribal affairs present minister is arjun munda which technology company has committed to pay 1 billion US dollars for next 3 years to the publishers for their content so this will be done by google and google is going to launch a new product and it is google news showcase and it will be launched first in germany and later it will be launched in other countries like belgium india and netherlands which country is to send the world's first mining robot named asteroid mining robot into space so this will be done by china the objective is to explore the resources in the space and this will be sent by china through a private company and the name of this private company is origin space so it is a beijing based company the asiim that is ambedkar social innovation and incubation mission has been launched by which ministry so this is an initiative by ministry of social justice and empowerment present minister is mr thawarchand gehlot now this is an initiative to provide the venture capital funding support for the scheduled caste so this is for venture capital funding support which state has decided to give 30% of new pds shops to women so this has been decided by rajasthan government to provide 30% of the pds shops to the women PDS is public distribution system so it is a system through which food is provided to the vulnerable section at a very subsidized cost the fast petrol vessel kanaklata barwa has been inducted in which defense force so it has been inducted in icg that is indian coast guard now kanaklata barwa was a freedom fighter from assam and kanaklata barwa played a key role during qim that is quit india movement ISRO is set to launch Venus mission by which year so it will be launched by 2025 ISRO is Indian Space Research Organization now for this purpose ISRO is going to collaborate with CNES CNES is a French government space agency so it is the space agency of France space agency of USA is NASA space agency of India is ISRO Sports Minister of India has unveiled a new logo for which organization so it is Sports Authority of India that is SAI and it has been launched by Sports Minister Kiran Rijuju Operation My Saheli has been launched by which organization so this has been launched by Indian Railways and this has been launched by South Eastern Railway idea is to improve the safety of women passengers so as a pilot project pilot means on trial basis it has been introduced in three trains these three trains are howda yashwantpur duranto special howda ahmedabad special and howda mumbai special trains 
which African nation celebrated its 60th Independence Day on 1st of October. So it is Nigeria. Now recently, Nigeria was also in news because of Dr. Akinwumi Adesina. So Dr. Akinwumi Adesina is from Nigeria, and recently he was re-elected as the president of African Bank Group, and he is from Nigeria. Mobadla Investment, which is set to acquire 1.4 percent stakes in Reliance Retail, is from which country? So it is associated to UAE, and it is Abu Dhabi based sovereign wealth fund, and it is going to acquire 1.4 percent stakes in Reliance Retail. Now this is going to be invested in Reliance Retail Ventures Limited. Previously, General Atlantic. and silver lake also decided to invest in reliance retail next question is india has committed to build 100 bed hospital and 22000 seater stadium in which country so this country is maldives capital of maldives is mali and india is going to collaborate with maldives for these projects and for that purpose india has provided loc that is line of credit next question is defense ministry has signed a contract with which company for 10 lakh hand grenades so for that purpose agreement has been signed between eel that is economic explosive limited and defense ministry for the supply of 10 lakh hand grenades now previously these products were either imported or these were made by ofb that is ordnance factory board next question is what is the name of global virtual summit of overseas and indian resident researchers to be conducted in october 2020 so the name of this summit is vibhav that is vashvik bharatiya vigyanik summit and the summit is going to create a single platform for science and technology related discussions next is india announced a debt service relief under g20 debt service suspension initiative to which country so this country is myanmar it is important to note that it is a part of g20 debt service suspension initiative next question is which indian diplomat has been appointed as india's next ambassador to cambodia so she is devyani uttam khobragde and she has been appointed as india's next ambassador to cambodia next question is which organization has developed a highly purified anti sera for covid-19 treatment so this organization is icmr and it has developed this anti sera for the covid-19 treatment and for that purpose icmr has collaborated with biological e limited and this biological e limited is a hyderabad based entity next question is which state has topped in the swachh sundar samudayik sochale that is community toilets campaign so this is gujarat so gujarat is on top position and that's why gujarat won the first prize in this swachh sundar samudayik sochale campaign on the other hand tiru nelveli district in tamil nadu won the best district award next question is which body has initiated anti dumping probe against two products imported from china so this is dgtr that is directorate general of trade remedies and this dgtr is from department of commerce and this department of commerce is related to commerce ministry so the probe has been initiated against the import of hfc blends and decor paper what is hfc it is hydrofluorocarbon next question is which institution has released the time use survey in india report so this has been released by nso and this is first such time use survey which was conducted and this has been conducted by national statistical office and this national statistical office is under mospi that is ministry of statistics and program implementation next question is the e way bill is implemented by which body so it is implemented by cbic central board of indirect taxes and customs and this is under department of revenue and finance ministry so what exactly is e way bill it is electronic way bill and it is used or it is generated for the movement of goods from one place to another place next question is the dzqi that is data governance quality index survey is conducted by which organization so this is conducted by niti aayog actually this is conducted by the 
DMEO that is Development Monitoring and Evaluation Office and this is an attached office of Niti Aayog and this was conducted that means this survey was conducted to assess the performance of different ministries and departments in the implementation of different central sector scheme and centrally sponsored scheme. RBI approved the appointment of committee of directors to run which bank. So this bank is Dhanlakshmi Bank and this is going to be a three member committee and this three member committee has been approved by Reserve Bank of India and this three member committee is headed by G. Supramania Ayya. Madhabi Puri Boch who was seen in news is the first woman whole time member of which organization. So C is associated to SEBI and C is the first woman whole time member of SEBI that is Securities and Exchange Board of India and C is also the first from the private sector to be appointed as a SEBI board member. Singapore based GIC and TPG Capital have acquired stakes in which Indian company. So this company is Reliance Retail. So GIC is a Singapore based sovereign wealth fund. Now please read about the sovereign wealth fund. What is the meaning of this term sovereign wealth fund? Okay, so GIC and private equity firm TPG have acquired stakes in Reliance Retail. So GIC is going to acquire 1.22% stakes and TPG Capital is going to acquire 0.41% stakes in Reliance Retail. World Day for Farmed Animals is celebrated on the birth anniversary of which leader? So it is celebrated on the birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi ji that is on 2nd of October. And this year a campaign was started and the campaign was pledged to fast against slaughter that means slaughter of animals. Indian Navy undertook the process of aerial seeding to increase the green cover in which city. So this is Vishakhapatnam. Now what exactly is this aerial seeding? See in aerial seeding we distribute seeds or we throw seeds on the ground from air using some device for example throwing seeds via drone or a plane or helicopter. So this is a technique of sowing seeds by spraying them from air. Which organization initiated live trading and other operations successfully from its disaster recovery site? So this is related to NSE that is National Stock Exchange. Now what exactly is this disaster recovery site? It is a site that is something like backup. In case of any problem with the main site that means main location the regular functioning can be operated from this disaster recovery site. So disaster recovery site is necessary for all critical institutions so that in case of any problem in the main site the operations can be organized from the backup center. Indian Army has signed a project with which company for strengthening ESCON communication network. So for this purpose Indian Army has signed agreement with ITI Limited. Now this ITI Limited is a telecom and defense equipment manufacturing company. It is a government company and Indian Army has signed agreement with this company for ESCON communication. Which car manufacturer has announced to withdraw from Formula 1? So recently Japanese automobile manufacturer Honda announced its withdrawal from Formula 1 racing by the end of 2021. Now it is important to note that Honda has been the engine supplier for F1 teams Red Bull and Alpha Tori. The European Union has recently imposed sanctions against which country? So this country is Belarus and people are protesting that the recent presidential elections were not fair and they should be fair elections. That's why there are widespread protests and in this context European Union has imposed sanctions on Belarus to pressurize the president. Which famous building was illuminated with Gandhiji's image along with his message? So it was Burj Khalifa. It is in Dubai. Dubai is in UAE. Which country hosted the historic fourth world conference on women? So this country was China. And this event is popularly known as Beijing Declaration. And this year it completed 25 years. So it is Beijing plus 25. Recently the 25th anniversary of this fourth world conference on women was organized and from Indian side our women and child development minister Smriti Irani participated in this event. 
the maritime patrol aircraft p8a which was seen in news recently is associated to which country so it is associated to usa now why it is so significant see recently this landed at port blair in andaman and nicobar islands and this landed for refueling and for this purpose that means for the logistic support both countries that means india and usa have signed l e m o a what is l e m o a it is logistic exchange memorandum of agreement so these were the most important questions now we are going to cover important news events feel free to skip it if you do not like the format so first is related to babri masjid demolition case why it was in news because of cbi verdict so recently cbi that is central bureau of investigation gave verdict in this case and cbi acquitted all 32 accused in this case now this babri demolition date is 6th of december 1992 and this masjid or this mosque was in ayodhya and it was situated on a hill named ramkot so these are important points associated to this case from exam perspective now one more thing cbi represent india in interpol interpol is international police headquarter is in lyon in france and india is going to host interpol conference in 2022 next is sheikh sabah al ahmad al sabah so he was a ruler of kuwait and he passed away recently next is rapid diagnostic test for coronavirus so recently who along with its partners decided to roll out 120 million rapid diagnostic test for covid-19 and this is going to help the lower and middle income countries and this will help these countries to test a large number of population next is prescribed rates for treatment of covid-19 so recently madhya pradesh government made it mandatory for all the hospitals to display the prescribed rate of treatment for covid-19 next is warehouse commodity finance app so recently sdfc bank launched this india's first warehouse commodity finance app so this is first such initiative in our country next is harijan sevak sang so this was an initiative which was started by gandhi ji and it was started on 30th of september in 1932 the objective was to combat untouchability and for this purpose a new weekly paper was also started and the name of this paper was hari jan hari jan means children of god and it was the name given by gandhi ji to the untouchables and to combat untouchability gandhi ji started this initiative now in this context article 17 of indian constitution is important as it prohibit the untouchability and it abolish the untouchability next is bharani so this is an initiative to be launched by telangana government the objective is integrated land record management so this is related to land record and for that purpose the online database of land will be prepared for better management and this will be started by telangana government next is india's first vulture conservation and breeding center so this is going to be in gorakhpur and this gorakhpur is in uttar pradesh next is india's first tram library so this was recently started in kolkata that is in west bengal and this was started by west bengal tourism corporation and last news is related to sekhar kapoor so recently sekhar kapoor the noted filmmaker has been appointed as the president of ftii what is ftii it is film and television institute of india and he is going to replace bp singh tal aviv and it is going to be the first city in the world with electric roads so these roads will have charging facility and the public transport buses can charge on these roads so these are wireless electric roads and the name of city is tal aviv so this is going to be the first city in the world with electric roads that charge public buses how that will be done see this system will have a set of copper coils and these will be placed under the asphalt of street that means under the cover of road material these copper coils will be placed and the vehicle whenever the vehicle is going to drive over this road it will charge automatically next is no mask no ride campaign so this is a campaign started by the sangli district of maharashtra so it has been started by the sangli police the idea is to encourage people to wear mask and if anyone is not wearing mask they will not be allowed 
to use the public transport. Maharashtra was also in news as recently Savitri Bai Phule University decided to set up a center for study in Maratha history. So this Savitri Bai Phule University is in Maharashtra. Next is NIA. So it is National Investigation Agency. It is under MHA. Why it was in news recently? Because MHA sanctioned three additional branches of NIA. MHA is Ministry of Home Affairs. So three additional branches are going to be in Imphal, Chennai and in Ranchi. It is important to note that NIA was constituted after the 26-11 terror attack in the Mumbai. So it is a statutory body and it is a counter-terrorism law enforcement agency. It is under MHA. Headquarters is in New Delhi. Recently it was in news because three new centers will be set up in Imphal, Chennai and Rachi. Next is sanitation literacy campaign. So this is a campaign started by NABARD and it was started in Karnataka. NABARD is National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development and this will be started to promote WASH. What is WASH? It is Water, Sanitation and Hygiene. Next is first bank to enable document embedding feature on SFMS. So IDBI became the first bank to enable this document embedding feature on SFMS. What is SFMS? It is Structured Financial Messaging System. And for that purpose, IDBI has developed a new platform. It is iConnect SFMS. Next is PATA Grand Awards. So PATA stands for Pacific Asia Travel Association. So these awards are given in three categories. One is Marketing, one is Sustainability, third is Human Capital. So this award is given in three categories. In marketing, it was given to Kerala. That means in marketing category, India won this award. In sustainability category, Thailand won this award. And in human capital category, China won this award. Next is Shanti Savru Patnagar Prize. These awards are given by CSIR, that is Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. And these are given for science and technology. Recently, CSIR celebrated its foundation day on 26th of September. Next is Dalai Khurshani. So it is from Sikkim. Recently it was in news as for this product GI tag request was submitted to DPIIT that is Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade. So it is a product from Sikkim and it is a variety of pepper. What is GI tag? It is geographical indication. Next is Dr. G.S. Amur. So he was well-known writer and critic. He passed away recently. He used to write in Kannada and in English. Atal Tunnel. So recently, Prime Minister inaugurated this Atal Tunnel. This is the world's longest highway tunnel. And this is going to connect Manali to Lahore, Spiti Valley. BRO, that is Border Roads Organization, played a key role in this construction. Answer in comment books, BRO is under which union ministry? Next is RAISE 2020. So this is responsible artificial intelligence for social empowerment. So this summit will be inaugurated by Prime Minister on 5th of October. Now there was one more RAISE and it is retrofit of air conditioning to improve indoor air quality for safety and efficiency. So this is an initiative of EESL and USAID. EESL is Energy Efficiency Services Limited. USAID is United States Agency for International Development. Recently, USAID was also in news as USA committed 1.9 million US dollars to support the informal sector in our country. And this will be provided through USAID. Next is Bongo Saga. So this is a bilateral naval exercise between India and Bangladesh. It is a novel exercise. Next is Patsri Abhijan. So this is an initiative by West Bengal government. Idea is to provide better road quality by repairing. So it is road repair scheme and it is related to West Bengal. Next is Congo fever. So recently because of Congo fever, Palghar district in Maharashtra issued alert. Next is IBE note. So recently Indian bank has launched a green initiative and the name of this initiative is IBE note. So this is to provide paperless working environment. The Indian bank also launched Indguru. This is e-learning platform for its employees. So these initiatives are related to Indian bank. Next is Krithigata. So this is an initiative by Assam. 
idea is to provide online platform for pension submission and tracking. So this is related to pension. Next is Samantwadi toys. So recently these toys were in use because of India Post as India Post released a postcard on Savantwadi toys. Now it is important to note that these toys are made up of wood and these are given GI status that is geographical indication. Last news is related to Saurav Ganguly as Bengal Peerless Housing has appointed Saurav Ganguly as the brand ambassador. Presently Saurav Ganguly is the president of BCCI. Sorya Missile. So this was in news because DRDO has successfully test fired a new version of this Sorya missile and this is a surface to surface missile that means it will be launched from surface and it is going to hit the target on surface and it is a nuclear capable missile that means this missile is capable of launching nuclear warheads and it is a ballistic missile next is Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine 2020. So this has been given to three individuals. These are Harvey J. Elter, Charles M. Rice and Michael Hofton. So Michael Hofton is from Britain and these two are from USA. So why these three were selected? These three were selected for the discovery of Hepatitis C virus. Next is SS Kalpana Chawla cargo spacecraft. So recently NASA has launched Northrop Grumman Cygnus Resupply spacecraft and this spacecraft is named after Kalpana Chawla. NASA is a space agency of USA. Next is World Space Week. So from 4th of October to 10th of October it is World Space Week and the theme is Satellites Improve Life. In fact the month of October is observed as breast cancer awareness month. Month of September is Portion Mah. Next is discovering the heritage of Assam. So recently this book was in news and it has been written by Padampani Bora and recently it was launched by Dr. Jitinder Singh. Next is World Teachers Day. So it is celebrated on 5th of October and the theme was teachers leading in crisis reimagining the future and next is Pushpa Bhave so she was popularly known as Iron Lady of Mumbai she passed away recently she was a social activist and academician apart from her recently Misty Mukherjee also passed away and she was Bollywood actress Puducherry Airport so recently Puducherry Airport became the first airport of AAI to be entirely solar powered what is AAI it is Airport Authority of India. Next is Gram Sampark Abhiyan. So this is a financial inclusion and literacy initiative and it has been started by PNB. Name of initiative is Gram Sampark Abhiyan. Next is Yudh Pradushan Ke Virud. So it is a campaign or it is a fight against pollution and this has been started by Delhi government. Next is Gram Darshan. So it is an initiative started by Haryana. So the objective of this initiative is to digitize the record of development works in the villages. That means in how many villages which developmental activities were completed. So this will be a digital record of that and it is going to be a single digital platform for entire developmental projects in different areas and it has been launched by Haryana. Recently Haryana was also in news because of Mary Fasal, Mera Biora initiative. So this is an initiative started by Haryana government for paddy procurement. Next is Hero Motocorp. So recently Hero Motocorp was in news as it appointed former air chief BS Dhanoa as independent director. Apart from that Hero Motocorp also appointed Sanjay Bhan as the head of global business. Next is Nobel Prize in Physics. So this Nobel Prize in Physics was given to three personalities. One is Rosa Penrose, another is Renard Genzel and third one is Andrea Gens. So these three were selected for the Nobel Prize in Physics for this year. Now Rosa Penrose was selected for the discovery that black hole formation is a robust prediction of general theory of relativity. So two important terms. First it is black hole formation and it is general theory of relativity. Now these two were selected 
for the discovery of a supermassive compact object at the center of our galaxy. Next is MOHUA, that is Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. It is the nodal ministry for PM Swanidhi. And under this PM Swanidhi, it partnered with Swiggy. Swiggy is a food delivery platform. So now, with the help of this agreement, street vendors will be able to sell their products online. And this has been done by agreement between Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs and Swiggy. Next is first Pirul power project. So recently Uttarakhand government launched the first Pirul power project. Next is Ratan Tata. So Mr. Tata was in news recently as he was given lifetime achievement award by IACC. What is IACC? It is Indo-American Chamber of Commerce. Next is the very extremely most naughty Asur Tales for Kids. So this is a book, kids book by Anand Neela Kantan and Anand Neel Kantan is the author of Bahubali series. Next is Bapu the Unforgettable. So this is a book launched by Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi Manish Sishodhya. And last is DRDO Smart. So the Smart is an initiative by DRDO. What is the full form of Smart? It is supersonic missile assisted release of torpedo. So recently this was successfully flight tested by DRDO and that is why it was in use. So these were the most important events. Thank you.